Something collectors of video games really enjoy are how different games can be, but not just in how they play, but how they look. If differences in labels and designs of the physical games themselves are your thing, then you really ought to collect for the Atari 2600. The 2600 has a lot of different designs for its cartridges, and I thought I'd spend a few minutes and show you a few of the differences in my games. First, you've got your common everyday game from Atari proper. Some of them had no picture or artwork, just said what the game was and the different modes and everything, like with Common Combat here. But the same game might get a version with artwork on it. Is it better because it's got a picture on the label? I certainly think it looks better at least. The picture design was common across most Atari games for the 2600 in its early years. Dodge Him Here has a nice piece of artwork, and even Pac-Man, which is the worst version of Pac-Man by the way, has a pretty decent label, though mine has had an unfortunate accident at some point. And that's probably because it's a terrible game. Here's Yar's Revenge with a Sears Telegames label. If you know your Atari history, you know the VCS or 2600 was also manufactured as a Sears video arcade and could play all the 2600 games. It was the same machine just being marketed and sold by Sears, who was an early supporter of Atari. The Telegames label's main difference was that, well, it said Telegames instead of Game Program like the other main run Atari games. All of these Atari published games have a nice textured surface all around the cartridge, so they don't feel like they're going to slip out of your hand, and they look very nice together, I think. Now let's head over to the world of the third party. Here's a game from Coleco, Donkey Kong by Nintendo. Yeah, for a while you could play Nintendo games on other systems, including Atari 7800, which was a competitor for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Their labels were nice and consistent, but different from the Atari games. It came in a white, textureless cartridge and had a nice black sticker with the game's logo. There's also nice ridges on the side to help you grab and remove the game from your console, and a cool Coleco logo embossed on the back of the cartridge. Now my favorite game designs for the 2600 came from Activision. This is Laser Blast. You get a nice big screenshot of the game rather than artwork, so you kind of see what you're in for before you actually start playing an Activision game. But what I like most about Activision's games is this little stacking feature the cards have. If you look at the sides, you'll see this little indentation. On the back of the cartridge, there's a little piece that's kind of embossed that you can insert into that indentation on another cartridge. So if I take Laser Blast, Keystone Capers, and Barnstorming, I can stack them really nicely, and they click together, making them really hard to shake about. That means they stack nicely and evenly on your shelf, too. And the Activision games are very bold with their use of white text on a colorful, solid background, and they just stand out more than Atari's own games. Like the Coleco games, the Activision games also have a nice ridge on the side for helping you pull the game out of the console, and have a cool logo molded onto the back of their games, too. Of course, Activision wanted to stand apart from Atari proper for many reasons I'm sure you know about. Now let's check back in with Atari and check out their silver label games. They have nice colorful artwork on the front and still feature the nice textured cartridge too. This is my favorite design from Atari themselves, and they kind of look really polished. There's also silver label games with bigger artwork too, like Crystal Castles here. Bentley Bears Amazing Adventures. I suck at Crystal Castles, but it's a sweet label. It really kind of invites you to play the game. There's also the red label games from Atari, which got pushed out in the late 80s. This is Solaris, which is a really fun space game. The 2600 on the cartridge is bold and looks nice on the red label, but I think these labels look a little cheap too. There are some variations with color pictures instead of monochrome, but I think this is my least favorite design to come from Atari themselves. Now the last cartridge that I actually own is from M Network and Mattel, and these ones just suck. They're made from an Intellivision cartridge mold with a wide base to fit inside the 2600's cartridge slot. There's only a small label on the end of the cartridges, like the Intellivision games themselves, but this comically huge end on these cartridges just make them look super cheap. It kind of reminds me of some like Ed Wood movie prop or something for a spaceship or something like that. It's just, they're just not good looking. Now these of course are not the only cartridge designs out there. There's a whole lot more I don't actually own, like no artwork labels from Activision or the games from Apollo. There's a ton of different variations for just cartridges. And that's amazing, and it's something that makes collecting for the Atari 2600 fun, even if you're not huge into video game collecting and memorabilia.